from five to eight, it's two interspinous spaces. We shouldn't say processes, interspinous spaces up and out an inch. Okay, so let me make that a little bit more clear for you. That you're gonna have to memorize, one through four, nine through 12, Mem remember that, okay? From five to eight, or just remember five to eight is the different one, it's two interspinous spaces. So let's start it with five to eight to make our lives easy. So we're at one, two, three, four, five. So we found five because you worked your way down, spider walk, or you slid, okay? So once I'm on five, how many interspinous spaces? Two. So I feel my interspinous space. Here's my spinous process. I go right up to my next interspinous space. And then I'm going to go lateral an inch, which is if I'm going to the right, I'm coming out to the right, and I'm right here on the TVP. You're going to feel it. It's like a little bump underneath the skin. What you need to do is what's called wag the dog. And I taught you this briefly when it came to the mammillaries, but it's harder to do with the mammillaries. When you come in here and you push on the TVP, guess what should happen to the SP? The spinous press. It should move. If it doesn't move, what does that mean? You're on the wrong one. You mean it's also locked up? It could be, it's going to move one way or another somehow. Okay? It could mean it's fixated or subluxated, depending on what's happening with it, but it should move. Okay, so you feel that wag is what we're looking for. So that's two interspinous spaces. Say I want to go all the way down to T10. Make life easy. Okay, so I'm all the way down at T10. Where am I going to go? Up one. Spinous process. Okay, and out an inch, and it's going to be right about there. Now it's not, it's going, we're giving you ballpark into it. Okay, it's not going to be perfect because everyone's not the same inch and everything else, but you're going to work within that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So uh, if you're not five through eight, mm -hmm. you would go up to spaces. So the light is in its room. Yes. Okay, so right here. The other one's the, the process. The process is the bone. Okay, so if I'm here, I go up one process to this process and out an inch. Okay? If I'm going interspinous space, I start here. Here's my inner spinous space. Here is my inner spinous space. Then go out and choose the same spot. No, you don't end up at the same spot. I'm this is a model. Okay. This isn't gonna be accurate to perfect. You'll it will work. Okay. Because here's the thing as well. If I'm in here, this is better because I'm off too low anyway. So here's one inner spinous space, two inner spinous spaces, and you go out about an inch, you're gonna find the TVP out there. Okay? The best thing to remember is five to eight is two interspinous spaces. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect. But it's going to get you to the right ballpark. Because again, there's about an inch separation between each of the TVPs. So you've got some wiggle room to find it. But if you're down a full inch, you know you're off by something. Okay? Questions on that? I'm going to show you one more thing while we're here. A posterior rib is going to be one inch lateral to the, T, the corresponding TVP. Okay, so once you find that level, so let's go back, so we're gonna find four this time. So one, two, three, four, I count it down. Four is gonna be what? One, uh, one, process. one process, good. Out about an inch, I push on it. Now if I wanna find the rib, one more inch out, and I push and I find that rib. Mm. Cool, 